Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Altruist Dog Training, putting your dog first. And how do we do that? By empowering you, the owner. Today I wanna to talk about stay in dog training, why it's used, how it's used, is it used at all? Everyone has their own way of doing things. I believe that how we do things here is the most optimal way and it's the most straightforward, least confusing way. I don't believe in using the stay command at all. Why? Because I feel like it's confusing for dogs. Why? Because it's more for them to consider. Check this out. So, Sophie, down. If I told her down, right, and then stay, it's, it's confusing, right? Because it's more for her to think about. Okay, so now I have to down, now I have to know what stay is. It's just down until I give her another command, right? Why not treat it as an implied stay, right? That's less confusing which is better dog training we want to minimize confusion right so she has to down indefinitely so if i told her down which i did she has to stay down until i give her another command sophie sit yeah now it's just sit until we go do something else right sophie break and let her go be a dog now right so let's just take the stay command and just chunk it away right it's confusing and it's more for you to, to deal with. Why? There's nothing aside from the command. It's just sit, right? Or it's just it's just down, right? Heel, stay, sit, stay, down, stay. It's, it's, it's convoluted, right? So I hope that helps. And I hope this makes things a lot simpler for you and your dog. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.